Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint wooden shields. If you'd like to support the channel, my coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now on to the video. This is the shield that we're going to be working on today. It's a very simple method, it only uses a few different colours, but you can get your shields looking really, really great. First colour we're going to use is Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm just going to use this to do the rim of the shield. Next up we're going to use some Citadel Bane Blade Brown to do the base for the wooden sections of the shield. Very quick layer to do this, the Bane Blade Brown have been sat in my wet palette for a while and thinned down a little bit, which isn't ideal. We just give that a nice coat of Bane Blade Brown and we can move on to the next colours. Next we're going to use Citadel Agrax Earthshade and just wash all of the wooden section of the shield. As this is mainly about the wood, you don't really get too much about the metal sections of the shield. I've covered the putting the colours back on towards the end, but you do want to use a little bit of Citadel Null Oil around that metallic edge too. So we're now going to use a little bit of Citadel Zandri Dust to start putting the colour back onto the shield rather than the Bane Blade Brown. So you can't see it slightly off camera here unfortunately. What I'm doing is I am doing vertical strokes on the shield so that it is giving the grain of the wood and making it look like the grain of the wood is there. You always find that the wood will have the grain going top to bottom when the shield's been made and so it is that kind of effect that you want to go for. There is some wood grain on the shield moulded on there on this particular one. I'm trying to keep to that as best I can but in certain areas you can add some knots in the wood if you want to or some little details like scuffs or damage to it and I'll show you how to do that as we go on because it's it's a very simple method you can just leave bits clear and add a little bit of shade to darken them up so you can see the grain of the wood is going on here all you want to do is carry on doing this it takes a little bit of time this bit but it is well worth it as you can see from the shield at the very end So now I'm going to add a little bit of Citadel Rackarth Flesh to the Zandri Dust just to lighten that up. And we're just going to be doing sections of these lines vertically. So the lines that you've already put on, you want to be picking out, say, maybe about 30% of those lines and just doing sections of them where maybe it's catching the light a little bit more. Apologies, this is slightly off camera, this section, which is really annoying. But you'll see at the start of the next section, you can see here, just adding little thin smaller sections of the wood grain using this lighter shade to make those stand out a little bit more. So you can see here where I've added the extra colours from the previous section, just like little thin lines here and there. I'm now just reapplying some Agrax Earthshade into some of the grooves and down some of the wood grain, just to get those details to stand out a little bit. Now what I'll try and do is build up the Agrax Earthshade at the bottom of the shield and the top of the shield as well. So it has those darker sections running up between the planks so that you have a kind of almost like a little U-shape at the bottom of the plank. You can see that on the wood here. 
and then doing some of the grains whether it's grime or damp or something along those lines in these sections on the shield and that will give you by building this up that dark kind of shaded area around the top and bottom of the shield that you can see on the finished shield itself so there's two little marks on it there which i'm adding a little bit more of grax air shade to just to darken those down With the Agrax Earth Shade dry, we're now going to move on to Citadel Athonian Camo Shade. We're just going to add some of this at the bottom and the top as well. All this does is gives it that slightly more damp look because you have that green mixed in with the brown. Now we're just going to reapply some Citadel Lead Belcher to the outside of the shield. I'll see it blob a little bit of this onto the wooden section on the bottom right of the shield. I think that's with the next layer though, but you can just cover that up with a little bit of shade easily enough. So you're just applying this to certain areas just to get the shine in different places. You don't have to worry about going over and giving it a nice smooth finish, just little areas here and there to give it a bit of shine. So now I'm going to use some Vallejo Model Air Chrome, and this is going to be to add some edge highlights and some shine to certain areas of the shield and also to blob a little bit onto the wood there you can see yay so I say just use a little bit of citadel agrax earth shade or citadel known oil to shade that blob of silver on the wood and you can darken that down without any real effort and that'll just blend right back in with the wood again pleased with how this one turned out it's only a few layers as you saw from the video but it really does give a really simple and effective look to get those miniatures looking great on the tabletop thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to all the social media link below thanks very much if you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me my coffee and patreon pages are linked below thanks very much